Hi, my name is Katie. I'm a recent graduate of Flatiron School's software engineering program. And this video is gonna be a really quick demonstration of how to use my most recent application um, called the Savings Calculator, which was built with React and a Rails API backend. Now, with the Savings Calculator, the first page we're brought to is the homepage, of course, um, where we're just displaying a list of reasons to save, kind of get the user thinking about that if they needed some ideas. And we're also displaying the total amount that's been saved or logged so far too. And that's displayed on every page. Now in our transaction history, this is where we get to see a list of all the transactions that have actually been entered so far. Um, naturally, just by default, they're ordered by date. Um, so that's from oldest to newest, newest being at the bottom. Now, when we click this sort button, this sort feature, it actually orders them by amount um, rather than date. So amount, lowest um, or uh, least to greatest. Now, of course, the user also has the ability to delete a transaction, which of course means they have the ability to add a transaction as well. So the transaction is associated with a date and an amount and a goal or a reason for saving those funds or, there's, or withdrawing those funds even from which fund it was pulled from. So we have shopping, vacation, gifts, you know, holidays and such um, are all different options to be to save the funds for. So a user picks what the funds are for post the transaction. And of course it's added to the list and reflected in the total amount that's been saved so far in real time. A user can also search through the transactions by date. So um, let's see here, we can just type in like November and then 11, we can see all the transactions that were posted on November 11th only. Um, we could also try like December 9th and then we can see that um, only those transactions from December 9th populate. And that is the savings calculator.